Now we're going to measure piston to cylinder wall clearance. Piston to cylinder wall clearance can be done by measuring the diameter of the piston as I've shown in another video and then measuring the diameter of the bore and subtracting those two measurements or it can be measured directly by using a filler ribbon which is just a long filler gauge in the piston that goes in the hole. In order to do this check you turn the piston upside down, you run it down into the bore with the filler ribbon in position. You need to run it down toward the bottom of the bore because if the bore is worn that's where the tightest fit will be and you put the filler ribbon right at the skirt of the piston. That's a 15 10 thousandths filler ribbon that I'm using for this illustration and it's a it's snug but it's not tight. If we try the 2 thousandths filler ribbon which is the one I'm inserting now and do the check again we'll find that it too has a little bit of clearance. Now when I do this check it's important that I have the filler ribbon straight up and down so it's not wrapping around the piston. That's tighter but it doesn't lock. The piston to cylinder wall clearance is probably about that two thousandths of an inch. This is three and the piston won't fit into position. So this piston to cylinder wall clearance is about two thousandths of an inch.